For the last 10 years, the prevalence of chronic malnutrition among children under 5 years has fluctuated between 40 and 30 percent, but increased interventions geared at ensuring nutrition transition could reduce prevalence in the near future. Dr. Esther Babidekele, a pediatrician at Manamjimu Nutrition Unit of Mulago, says there are big brains that can help the country reduce these statistics further if only they are utilized. It is very good if we have some community component. If we go out there and reach our communities with ideas, with education, then we shall reduce some of these rates of malnutrition. But to do that, we really need some facilitation. Dr. Babidekele says each ward of the unit is designed to accommodate about 30 patients. But due to increasing numbers, the unit is made to host even more. During a guided tour with the Nile Brewery's officials, service providers cited scarcity of food items as a major challenge. We are supposed to eat foods when we have the big day, but now these days we don't have the <laughs> On a Pito Ekomoloit, Nile Brewery's legal and corporate affairs officer says, under this arrangement, they'll provide an assortment of items worth 15 million shillings annually. It's going to be long term. It may appear like a trickle, but we want to make sure that our children are healthy. Some of them may grow to drink beer, that's their own choice. <laughs> but that's not our purpose. We just want them to grow into healthy Uganda. The partnership that includes JESA started this Wednesday with children and their mothers receiving over 500 litre pieces of milk. Earlier, mothers were trained on best cooking practices for their malnourished children. In the preparation, you just get these tissues, you estimate it to this level of the pa, all together. You estimate it to the level of the pa, and this is a protein which you have to put here. As a principal, we said you have to get uh, an animal protein together with a plant protein. Gloria Guitabinji compiled this report.